This is CBS. On Action 11 News tonight, the UK Board of Trustees meets behind closed doors. After an early morning of legal haggling, we'll have the story from Lexington. An Amish father is still in jail as the search continues for his young son suffering from cancer. Also at 6 tonight, a new Jefferson County program to watch the progress of drunk drivers through the courts. And in sports, the Wildcats of Kentucky take on Ole Miss. Action 11 News at 6 o'clock is next. The science of skin care. The art of makeup. The allure of fragrance. The world of Estee Lauder. It's a beautiful place to be. Visit your Estee Lauder beauty advisor today and get a free five-piece gift, including private collection parfum spray and two lipsticks. Yours with any Estee Lauder purchase of $12.50 or more. This gift is yours through February 4th at Bix. Announcing a revolutionary new way to save money on your next car, truck, or van. For the first time ever, the 11 Sam Swope car lines have united forces to bring you volume savings never before possible. Toyota of Louisville, Performance Volkswagen, Sam Swope Honda, Sam Swope Pontiac GMC truck and BMW, courtesy Suzuki, courtesy Cadillac, Suburban Chevrolet Buick, and the new Sam Swope Mitsubishi. Now for the first time ever at volume discount savings. Introducing the all-new Sam Swope Automotive Network. Now more than ever, nobody walks away. Action 11 News is next on WHAS-TV, Louisville. Action 11 News with Doug Prophet, Jerry Viola, Gary Rizzo's weather, and Gary Montgomery with sports. Good evening, I'm Jerry Fiala. And I'm Doug Prophet. The legal tug-of-war in Lexington ended in favor in the University of Kentucky today as the Board of Trustees won the right to meet behind closed doors in discussing the troubled basketball program. The ruling came after an overnight courtroom battle challenging UK's right to meet privately. Action 11 Sam Wyatt reports. The peptic issue that the University of Kentucky has been eating for breakfast for the past year has been delayed again and information about what board members plan to tell the NCAA about players, coaches, and others allegedly involved in wrongdoing won't be discussed by the UK board until new legal obstacles have been hurdled. The board won an 11th hour victory last night in the Kentucky Supreme Court to allow a discussion behind closed doors of 18 NCAA allegations. But we must be careful that persons named in these allegations have the opportunity to make their case to the, to the NCAA Attractions Committee. This morning in Lexington, a board discussion of the issue was delayed because of a federal gag order stopping discussion of anything concerning the grades, academic record, or SAT scores of UK basketball guard Eric Manuel. Manuel is accused of cheating on a college entrance exam. Board attorney said the case is so interrelated they couldn't talk about the information on others without talking about information involving Manuel. Members of the board have leaked information with respect to Eric Manning. On Monday, lawyers for the Louisville Courier Journal, which filed the suit, plan to go back into Fayette Circuit Court in Lexington to ask the judge to rule on whether the 18 allegations by the NCAA should be made available to the public. The board wants to keep the response to the allegations secret until those charged have had a chance to respond. University of Kentucky President Dr. David Roselle has no illusion about the school's image coming out scuffed and tarnished. I'm not so naive as to believe that, that you can manage a difficult situation and, and not have it reflect poorly on the university. On the other hand, I, I do look with, with great pleasure at the way the friends of the University of Kentucky are rallying to the support of the University of Kentucky in, in, in what is a difficult in a difficult time in the, in, in the university's history. The university's president says that the big thing to come out of this is that the university shouldn't spend all its time in investigations. After all, its ultimate purpose is to educate students. Institutions are rather like individuals in the sense that if you spend all your energy chasing these rabbits, you don't have enough energy to chase those rabbits. And, and some of the rabbits that we need to chase are the educational rabbits and how we can better serve the people of this commonwealth. Reporting from Lexington, Sam Wyatt, Action 11 News. A Hardin County Amish man is still behind bars tonight for refusing to tell a judge where his cancer-stricken son is. 
Dan Mast's attorney spent the day at the U of L Law Library. James Gregory says the only way Mast could be released now is if the six-year-old boy is turned over to the court or the case is decided otherwise. Mast stopped taking the boy for court-ordered chemotherapy treatment. One of Louisville's first black aldermen is dead. 69-year-old Lois Morris died last night after a lengthy illness. Morris served as an alderman from 1969 through 1975. More recently, she was founder of National Black Women for Political Action. Today, friends and community leaders remembered. She was a fighter, an organizer, and a brilliant woman. She had the know-how, and she knew how to get things done. I had the pleasure of being mayor when she was on the Board of Aldermen. She also served on the Charter Commission for the merger effort in 1983. And it was a difficult, uh, controversial issue, and she stood up and was counted. Uh, this is a great loss to this community. Uh, Lois was a leader, particularly with women in political action. And she always fought to have black women on the front, forefront of elected office, and she was very, very effective. We'll miss her very much. Funeral arrangements for Morris are incomplete. For the first time ever, a government-funded group will monitor the progress of drunk drivers through Jefferson District Court. It's a program called the Central Referral and Monitoring Center, and it's starting on a four-month trial basis February 15th. Jefferson County government is funding the center, which was formed because of the huge increase in DUI cases. We are convicted of drunk driving. To make sure that they actually carry out and do the things that they're required to do under the law, i.e., get treatment if necessary, education programs, things of this nature. So we're going to continue, first and foremost, to, to make it very clear to everyone in this community that if you drink excessively and drive and you get caught, the chances of your being convicted of drunk driving are very, very good. Over seven... The employees of the center will concentrate on the three traffic courts, watching multiple DUI offenders and first-time DUI cases. The staff will report any violations to the sentencing court. Coming up, a silent tribute for the crew of the Challenger, and divers probe the chilly Ohio River for a car that may have disappeared into the water. Now, it's Furniture Liquidator's January Clean It Out, Clear It Out, and Close It Out sale. With brand name furniture at a fraction of its original cost. Sofas as low as $149, complete bedrooms only $299, three-piece living rooms only $299, and mattresses as low as $39.95. With instant credit and no payments till April or 90 days, same as cash, don't miss our January Clean It Out, Clear It Out, Close It Out sale. Furniture Liquidator's, saving you more. You know, I've earned the trust of these kids and their parents. And I look to people that I can trust for my will, life insurance, and recently a prearranged funeral program. I chose the people that this community has trusted for years. By planning ahead, my family is protected financially and emotionally. Trust, that's what it's all about. For more information or our free prearrangement guide, call Arch L. Hetty and Son at 451-0054. Hetty, the wiser choice. Sam Myers has been dressing up Louisville since 1905. Starting January 30 through the end of February, the cost of dressing up is going down. Sam Myers' 12th annual warehouse sale, featuring tuxedos by Hickey Freeman, Christian Dior, After Six, and the largest selection of formal accessories in Louisville, all at 20% off the regular price. Top that off with a selected group of rental tuxedos you can purchase at a fraction of their original cost. Don't miss the super warehouse sale at Sam Myers, 3400 Bashford Avenue Court, behind Heitzman's Bakery on Heights Lane. In one year alone, over 297,000 former GM and Ford owners switched to Toyota Quality. The kind found in Camry, the most trouble-free new car in its class. To meet demand, dealers have ordered record numbers of Camrys. And they're really dealing because they're out to switch 10,000 more GM and Ford owners. So now's the best time to switch to Camry. But hurry, with all this dealing and switching, the Camrys will go fast. Get to your Toyota dealer now while the savings and selection last. Underwater divers have converged on the Ohio River at Utica, Indiana, searching for a car that one witness says plunged into the water.
The search and dive team from the Charlestown, Indiana Volunteer Fire Department was back in the Ohio today after a few hours of work last night. The Clark County Sheriff's Department says a woman in Jefferson County, Kentucky was at, the, was at a bonfire across the river last night when she called police and said a car went flying over an embankment and hit the water. Police say they believe a car might be in the Ohio the because they found pieces of headlights. I've seen it go into the water. So nobody was actually standing here and watched it go into the water so they don't know if it's really one there or not. We're just guessing. What's it like underneath the water? You can't see nothing. You're just feeling like I fell in, come down, the anchor was stuck, so I went down in the tree and the lens was bigger than I was and couldn't see nothing. Just had to follow the rope and get the anchor unhooked and come on back out. Pretty cool. Police say they have no missing persons or stolen car reports that would lead them to believe at this point that foul play is involved or that anyone is inside the car that supposedly is in the water. Three years ago today, the Challenger disaster jolted the nation. This morning, space workers and tourists at Cape Canaveral paused to remember the seven astronauts. Tour buses stopped in their tracks, all work was halted, and flags at the Space Center were lowered to half-staff. 73 seconds of silence were observed, the length of the fatal space shuttle flight. Top students from around the state converged on Georgetown, Kentucky this morning to be begin competing for scholarships in the Sweet 16 Academic Showcase. Students from 439 high schools are competing for $75,000 in college funds ranging from $400 to $2,000. This is, of course, the uh, regional competition, and if I'm in the top four, I'll be able to advance to the uh, state championships and possibly pick up some money to help me on my way to college, $2,000 if I come in first, and so on down the line. They competed in music, math, chess, and other academic disciplines. Winners go, go on the, to Murray and Moorhead State Universities in February. Still to come on Action 11 News tonight, take advantage of tonight's warm weather. Gary Rizzo says showers are in the Sunday forecast. Eddie, this is Mrs. Butterworth. Hello, Eddie. I love your syrup. I need two syrups, regular and light. Mrs. Butterworth. And they're both delicious because... Because they're both very thick and rich. She really talks. So thick they take their own sweet time. Mrs. Butterworth's Syrups. Introducing Mrs. Butterworth's new pancake mix. For pancakes so light and fluffy, they hit the spot every time. Only $99 a month to own a brand new Ford Festiva? I said, you gotta be kidding me. I was gonna pay that for a used car. But my Ford dealer showed me this new Festiva with over 30 standard features from front wheel drive to power disc brakes. Plus, Ford Festiva is the only car in its class that comes with a six year, 60,000 mile warranty just $99 a month for a Ford Festiva. I can handle that. The $99 a month Ford Festiva, where quality is standard. Your Ford dealer. They're slashing prices. They're talking deal. Talking two lame bro patties with melted cheese. And who's doing it? We do it. For a limited time. A Burger King double cheeseburgers. 99 cents. That's two I mean two lame royal patties. A quarter pound of beef. With two slices of cheese. For 99 cents. So. Get on down for a 99 cent double cheeseburger. Who does it? We do it like you do it. For only 99 cents. At Burger King. We British did something unusual. We reinvented the vacuum cleaner. We call it Vax. Of course, Vax is a powerful vacuum cleaner for all around the house. Then, presto, it becomes a carpet washer, sucking up dirt, grease, and grime, leaving carpets dry enough to walk on immediately. Vax. No wonder it's Britain's best-selling vacuum cleaner. It washes. See an amazing demonstration exclusively at Brand Central at Sears. You know, 70 degree weather is fine to have around here, but this is winter time after all, Gary, and uh, we've got to have some snow sooner or later. We will. February could be a long month ahead, but you know, January has actually averaged warmer than December, and even our January temperature would be above normal for December. That's the way it's been going. We'll probably finish out the month above normal and looking ahead for the next 36 hours. It calls for mostly cloudy skies tonight, but we will see showers tomorrow by daybreak, 51 for the high, cloudy and that does include a few showers tomorrow night with a low around 40. 
Right now at Stanford Field, the temperature is still a very pleasant 55 degrees. Relative humidity at 32%, the wind west at 5 miles per hour. Barometer this hour rising from 30.14 inches. Today's high, 57. That's 16 degrees above normal for the uh, 28th of January. Last night's low was a frosty 29. No rain, and we're not, uh, not expecting any rain until, as I say, early tomorrow. This is the current regional satellite picture, and it shows some breaks in the clouds to our west. Not all the moisture has uh, occurred in the Ohio Valley today. We saw scattered clouds throughout the day, most of the clouds over southern Kentucky and Tennessee, and there are just a few sprinkles in extreme southern Kentucky at this time. But the clouds with the rain is occurring in the Mississippi Valley. In fact, the leading edge of the rain goes from Chicago to St. Louis and then down to central Arkansas. It's all moving northeast and will be arriving probably in about 12 hours. Temperatures with light rain beginning at Chicago, 44 degrees. Over in Cincinnati, the temperature is 50. 45 up at Indianapolis, 55 degrees in Lexington. An hour ago, it was 60 in Nashville. They've since dropped back to 58. Take a look now at the national radar summary and a few light showers in northwest parts of Indiana, but most of the rain is occurring from western and northern Illinois right back across Missouri and then continuing on down to eastern Texas. The heaviest rain fell in the southern plains today. One to two inches fell in the Dallas area with up to an inch in central parts of Oklahoma, but again, that rain is now moving to the east into Arkansas, and there's a flash flood watch for parts of eastern Texas tonight. However, it snowed, and heavy snow fell in the front range of the Rockies. Denver at, at Stapleton Airport, nine inches, but up to a foot in Denver's western suburbs. This is a low-pressure system. There's two centers that's causing it in the southern Plains states. Our weather was controlled still by high pressure that's lo losing its grip, and it's now moving off the North Carolina coast. This front is also coming down. Earlier today, Detroit made it all the way up to 50, but Tampa was at 80 today, 77 in Brownsville, Texas. This is the weather map 24 hours from now. This rain pattern will be a light one. I think rainfall amounts will be maybe a quarter inch or less with the heavier rains expected in uh, Mississippi and also down in Louisiana with cool high pressure following. Temperatures tomorrow will just about make 50. The coldest air will only be in the 30s and some upper 20s in the upper Midwest with more 70s and 80s in the southeast part of the country. For tonight, once again, mostly cloudy, not quite as cool tonight with a low of 41. And for tomorrow, it will be cloudy. We're going to see a few showers off and on throughout the day. High temperature will be around 51. Cloudy with a few sprinkles for tomorrow night and a low around 40. Slow clearing on Monday, 45. Tuesday, the last day of the month with a high of 52. And on Wednesday, partly sunny, a little cooler, 46. But stay tuned. There could be some big changes by the end of next week. Okay. Thank you very much, Gary. Coming up in sports, Gary Montgomery with more on tonight's Girls LIT. Another honor for Ali Sheba, plus highlights of the Cats and Mississippi Bulldogs. Today, you can get $1,000 cash back on selected new Suzuki Sidekicks, up to $700 cash back on a new 16-valve Swift. With Suzuki to dealer incentives, you can save even more on four-wheel drive Sidekicks and on 16-valve Swifts. It's the great savings countdown, only at your Suzuki dealer, only on Sidekicks and Swifts, up to $1,000 cash back, but only for a limited time. Hurry into Courtesy Suzuki or Good Suzuki. I started having a slight tightness across my chest. Each year, 1.5 million Americans suffer a heart attack. Pain come on and it just seemed like it tightened up like a vice. Days after watching How to Beat Heart Attacks, Roy Durbin recognized the key warning signs. I had a heart attack and that one artery was 90% blocked and the other one was 60%. How to Beat Heart Attacks, sponsored by Jewish Hospital, Heart and Lung Institute, and United Medical Center, Shelbyville. If I hadn't seen the TV show, who knows, I might not have been here today. Don't miss the 32nd annual William H. King Sport Boat and Vacation Show at the Kentucky Fair and Expo Center. And be sure to stop by the Burnett Brothers Boat Mart display during your visit. Register there to win this newly designed Winter Nighthawk, a roomy boat specially rigged and crafted for night fishing. Retail value for boat and trailer is over $10,000. No purchase necessary to win. Register during the Sport Boat and Vacation Show for your own Winter Nighthawk from Burnett Brothers Boat Mart and Louisville Downs. Find out more at 964 64 now there's a brand new line of quality cars that gives you a whole lot more for your money. 
with a starting price less than a Hyundai XL. Mitsubishi. Bigger cars. Mitsubishi. More powerful cars. Mitsubishi. Roomier cars. Mitsubishi. Available only at the new Louisville Auto Center. Introducing Sam Swope Mitsubishi. Hurstburn Lane at I-64. A division of the Sam Swope Auto Network. Now more than ever, nobody walks away. Well, the Wildcats weren't able to hang on to that winning streak. No, they went on the road, and it's a tough road trip down to Mississippi, and uh, they found it awfully tough this afternoon. The Kentucky Wildcats went on the road to Oxford, Mississippi, to face the Ole Miss Rebels in Southeastern Conference play. Kentucky came up short in this contest. Let's go to the action. Second half, LaRon Ellis scores his first two points of the game. He only scored four today. Kentucky trails 47-38. Big man for Ole Miss was Gerald Glass. He had 24. Ole Miss is up 55 to 44. Kentucky comes back, works it inside to Chris Mills. He scores two of his 16, but Kentucky was still on the low end of that score, 55 to 46. Also in double figures for the Rebels was Tim Jumper. He had 17. Ole Miss is up 66-57, coasting along now. Derek Miller comes back to cut it to 66 to 60. Miller led the catch with 21 points in the loss. Ole Miss hits their free throws down the stretch, and they won it. The final score was 70-65, Ole Miss taking the victory over Kentucky. Well, the LSU Tigers may have helped push the Louisville Cardinals into the top spot in the college rankings. Louisville is currently number three, but top-ranked Illinois was knocked off, you remember. And this afternoon, LSU defeated a second-ranked Georgetown. In New Orleans, the Tigers built a 10-point second-half lead. Coming down court, here they go into Sims. He misses that one, but stays with it and gets the bucket. And Sims has LSU moving strong. But for the Hoyas, Jackson connects on the three-pointer right here, and the game is all tied up. Georgetown then went into the lead. Here it goes. Jackson misses, but watch underneath. Alonzo Morning comes in for the slam, and it's the Hoyas by four. We're now approaching the two-minute mark, and the Tigers... Chris Jackson is approaching the basket. He connects, he's fouled, and he, his trip to the free throw line results in a three-point play. Game's tied. Both teams hit the line in the late going. The Hoyas, Charles Smith, ties the game on this free throw. 20 seconds left in the game. Game is knotted at 80, and now we're ready for the game winner. LSU's Chris Jackson must have been appointed to take the shot. Watch him. He draws a bunch of Hoyas around him, but he keeps dribbling. Finally, he gives it up. He gives it to Trinity High School grad Russell Grant, and Grant puts up the shot. It's way off the mark, but Ricky Blanton rebounds and puts it back in with only a couple seconds left. The buzzer sounds, and the Tigers have pulled off the big upset, the final LSU 82, Georgetown 80. Tigers coach Dale Brown begins to celebrate, and now if the Louisville Cardinals can handle Ohio State tomorrow afternoon, they're sure to be number one when the new polls come out. 11th ranked Florida State hit the road today playing at Virginia Tech. The Seminoles had a slim lead late in the contest. The lead was two for the visitors, 91-88, but Virginia Tech tied the game on the driving hoop by Bimbo Coles in the foul shot he converted after the play. The Seminoles maintained their composure. Irving Thomas, the former UK player, connects right here and gives the lead back to Florida State. And then George McLeod gave the visitors the lead for keeps on the long distance connection, stayed on top 98 to 95. With State leading by three, Tech had a chance to tie it, but they didn't have much of a chance. And this shot right here was their only opportunity, and it was off the mark as the buzzer sounded. 11th ranked Florida, a winner in Metro Conference play over Virginia Tech, 100 to 97. Fourth ranked Oklahoma, this game is now a final. Oklahoma over Nevada, Las Vegas, 90 to 88. Missouri beat Nebraska, 89 to 72. It was 7th ranked North Carolina getting a win on the road 92 to 85. Seton Hall down Boston College 103 to 79. And at the half, 18th ranked Kansas is leading Kansas State 37 to 28. Georgia beat Tennessee. Tennessee is falling on the skids right now. 74-73 the final in this one. And Northwestern Wisconsin. Wisconsin won this one by one point. Michigan State beat Minnesota. The final here was 73-64. Remember what Minnesota did to Illinois? Indiana State, Indiana Southeast, that is, not Indiana State, but Indiana Southeast, a winner over St. Francis, 67 to 62. In the final of the girls' LIT tonight at Southern High School, it's going to be the Lady Crimson's Emanuel squaring off with Bryan Station. 
Manuel topped East Harden in the semifinals this morning in play at uh, Southern High School. Ramonda James picks up two of her 17 points for the Manuel Lady Crimsons. But the Lady Rebels of East Harden stayed close thanks to the strong inside play right here. Manuel's Amy Drummond right here coming up feeds Gwen Doyle. She has the entire East Harden team in the area but still gets the goal. Doyle led Manuel with 22. Drummond also did her share of scoring. This is three of her 11 points as Manuel moves to the final game tonight, championship game. Let's go to the scores. Manuel, 59 to 51 over East Harden in the semifinal action, also in semifinal play. Bryan Station over Marshall County, 69 to 64. Ali Sheba is the horse of the year for 1988. It's his third Eclipse Award. Ali Sheba closed out his career with a victory this November in the uh, Breeders' Cup Classic at Churchill Downs. He became Thoroughbred's richest racehorse, then retired to stud. During his four-year-old career, he won seven of nine starts, finished his career with 11 wins, eight seconds and two-thirds, and of course, one of those victories was in the Kentucky Derby in 1987. Ali Sheba beat out personal ensign for the Horse of the Year honors. And another horse racing news, Dixieland Brass won the Hutchison Stakes at Gulfstream. Western Playboy and Tricky Creek followed across the finish line. The Hutchison is one of the many preps for the Kentucky Derby. And in third round play of the Pebble Beach Golf Tournament, Louisville's Ted Schultz was at the top of the leaderboard for a while. He was eight under par for the tournament, but he faltered on his way in, and he now stands four under par for the tournament. Nick Price and Mark O'Meara are at the top at nine under par. Uh, O'Meara is already in the clubhouse. Nick Price is out on the golf course. Perhaps he'll tack on another birdie along the way and uh, pick up the lead after three rounds. We're going to have six overtimes in the girls' LIT tonight? <laughs> I don't know if we have enough tape to do that one. All right, look for that. Thank yeah. you very much, Gary. Coming up, an artist everyone looks up to. PM Magazine shines its light on the fun. PM Magazine shines its light on the people. PM Magazine shines its light all over Kentuckyana. Let Jeff Anderson and Felicia Ferguson shine their light on you. PM Magazine, weeknights at 7.30 on WHAS-TV. Kid. It's been a long time. You were something. <laughs> You're still a klutz. You're still using Bounty. Bounty's the quicker picker upper. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Don't you hate it? I can't remember the last time I saw my waist. An hour a day, and I'm still soft and thicker around the middle. In my business, I'm supposed to be that way. What business is that? I'm uh, one of the cloud makes white clouds, the softer, thicker bathroom tissue. There's no difference in bathroom tissues. They're all the same. Like me and Mr. Universe? <laughs> Feel the difference clouds make. White cloud is soft. And look at the difference in thickness. Thicker, too. Compared to white cloud, the others seem lean and mean. <laughs> Some things are better, softer and thicker. It's great for bathroom tissue, but not for me. Oh, you look great. Where I come from, you'd be a real heartbreaker. Where is that? White cloud, softer, thicker. Discover the difference clouds make. For a limited time, Bob Smith Chevrolet offers the Customer's Choice Program. Take your choice of 4.9% financing or cash back up to $1,000 on select new Chevys, like the new Chevy truck, totally redesigned to work harder than ever, with $500 cash back. Or the fun-loving S10 pickup, you'll get up to $750 cash back or 4.9% financing. It's your choice. Get $500 cash back on the rugged S10 Blazer, but only for a limited time. Take your choice, but don't wait. It can't last long. From the one, Bob Smith Chevrolet. Many artists create on an easel, but put an artist in the cockpit of a plane and the sky's the limit. Motor oil is his paint. A custom-made biplane, his brush. And the sky above is Steve Pileski's canvas. This Cornell University art professor has taken skywriting to new heights. It's uh, not a daredevil. Uh, what I'm really trying to do is take uh, the maneuvers of aerobatic competitions, making it into an art form. In the sky above Ithaca, New York, the artist goes to work.
So I stopped making art, making studio art, and decided I would just go and make my art in the sky with the airplane trailing smoke, using it like a giant uh, pencil or drawing tool in the sky. Isn't it dangerous? I'm not really worried, you know. I mean, you have to watch out. You don't hit the ground. You don't hit the buildings. You don't lose your motor. But mostly, you're looking for other planes just uh, flying through the patterns that you're making. These patterns are carefully designed before Steve ever leaves the ground. Before I go up and make a series of very uh, accurate drawings on the ground, and they're not exactly flat. Uh, sky riding, of course, is flat. Uh, here you see I'm trying to introduce the three-dimensional maneuvers, the aerobatic maneuvers, so there are loops which are vertical, then there are circles which are around. So, yeah, really, it's, it's, it's going beyond sky riding, and it's sort of trying to take sky riding, air show, and uh, put these things together in an artistic way. However, his art is transient. Before this artist can admire his masterpiece, it is Gone with the Wind. This is Pete Puentes reporting. And that's it for us at 6 o'clock. Thank you very much for watching. Coming up tonight at 11, the Sport, Boat, and Vacation Show, one of Louisville's oldest and most popular events. We'll check out the $20 million worth of exhibits. Gary Rizzo updates the changing weather forecast. And in sports, the girls' LIT championship game. We'll see you tonight at 11.